I started with the cube, shape it like a head, extruded the neck and the shoulders. Then I extruded the nose and ears. Now the base shape is ready for sculpting. I smoothed out the head, subdivided it using multi rise modifier, push in some vertices for the eye socket, then fix the shape of the ears. Then I reformed the overall shape of the face. I subdivided one more time, carved in the nostrils. Then I started sculpting the eye socket. Then add a sphere and mirror it to the other side. Place it into the eye socket and sculpt the upper and lower eyelid. I smooth out the mouth part. Then carve in the lips. I start sculpting the ears. Fixing the overall shape of the head and the body. Reforming the eyes and the eye socket so it looks less like an alien. I added plane and extruded it for her eyelashes. I extruded the center of the cornea for now and get back to the eyebrows. I do the exact same thing that I did with the eyelashes, just extruding till I reach the end of the eyebrow. Now it's time for retopology. Boring. Done. I projected to our main model using shrink wrap modifier. Now I'm making some space for the inside of the mouth. Now I'm gonna model the teeth. It's not gonna be detailed, so I'm just gonna extrude some vertices. Then I added a cylinder, extrude it, shape it like a horn, and place it on her head. I start creating the hair using curves. I'm shaping the curve by moving or scaling up or down the points. I also have a tutorial on this. I put the link on the top right corner, so make sure you check it out. I duplicate each curve till half of the head is covered. Then I duplicate the whole thing and mirror it to the other side. She has two different hair colors, so I give one to the right and give one to the left. For her coat, I bring out the new plane, extrude it till she's covered. For the lapels, I selected the color and extrude it to the outside. So I started sculpting some wrinkles around her coat to get a more realistic fabric feeling. I UV unwrapped the body, gave it a skin tone color, then I start painting on it. I give it a red hint to the cheeks and the nose, and a nice saturated red color for the lips. Then I apply some makeup to the eye. For the coat, I found a nice dark fabric material in Quixel Bridge Library. For her necklace or choker, whatever you want to call it, I made the shape based on a reference. Get it on a curve, then wrap it around her neck. For the eyes, I push the vertices inside, then make a hole in it for the pupil. Then I start painting it. Of course you can use real photo, but I like to manually painting mine. For more control and stuff, I use blue for the main color, then hint of green for the center. I give it a hint of black to the eye for it to pop out a bit more. I didn't really like the horn that I made. Using the same method that I use for the rope, I make a new horn, but much cooler this time. To make it even more cooler, I gave it a red black gradient color. Then I add some light to the scene, some soft light in front, then some colored lights in the back to add some contrast to the scene. At the end, I give it a simple armature so I could turn her to the side a bit. So there we have it boys. We also have a nice real time EV render. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in real-time process of this character, you can download it on Gumroad and Patreon page. Links are always in the description.